Hi, this lesson is to help you with scientific notation. This is what we've been working on for the past three days in class, and tomorrow you have a quiz on it. And even after the quiz, this can give you a review. So to start with, how do we write these numbers, which are already written in scientific notation, in standard form? That's what we're working on. How do we write these numbers in standard form? Well, the first thing you have to realize is this number to be getting larger or smaller. That's right. It's going to be getting smaller. How do we know it was getting smaller? Because it has a negative exponent. And negative exponents means the number is getting smaller. Because what does this negative 10 to the second power mean? It means 1 tenth times 1 tenth. Which if you multiply this times this, you're going to get a lot smaller answer. Okay, but it's a lot easier than that because each place in the place value chart is worth 10. We can just move our decimal place. So if we're moving it 10 to the negative 2 power, we're going to move it how many places to the left? That's right, 2. So this number now written in standard form is 0 .0713. Of course, it's a lot smaller than our original coefficient. Okay? Our next number, is it getting larger or smaller? Larger. Very good. Since it's getting larger, we know we're moving towards the right, and so we need to move our decimal how many places? That's right, four. So we already have two digits in two of the places, so all we need to do is add two more zeros, and we're left with that number. One, two, three, four. Very good. Now that you've worked with writing a number in st standard form, we're going to take this number, which is already in standard form, and change it to scientific notation. Now remember, scientific notation has three parts. It has a coefficient, it has a base, and it has an exponent. And we'll start simple. The base is always 10, because remember, each place, the place value is 10. And the coefficient has to be a number that is less than 10, or greater or equal to 1. So how can we write this number so that it's less than 10, but greater or equal to 1. Well, let's say that, let's make this 3.57. Notice none of the digits or anything moved around. We just changed where the decimal point was. So, now that we've done that, how far do we move that decimal place? Well, we got to look, where was the decimal place to begin with? It was right here at the end. Think of it as a check. How would you write that as money? So we moved our decimal place 1, 2, 3, 4. So our exponent becomes 4. How do we know our exponent was positive? Well, the original number was greater than 1. And if it's greater than 1, we have a positive exponent. One final example. Changing our standard notation to scientific notation. Okay, we know our base is 10. Now, look at this number. Is this number greater than 1? No. So we know we're going to have a negative exponent. We just have to figure out what that negative exponent is. What can our coefficient be? How can we write this number so that it's now greater than or equal to 1 but less than 10? Well, that's simple, 1.7. It's greater than 1, but less than 10, okay? So, how do we move our decimal place? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, we moved it to the negative 5 times, because if you multiply that out, you would see that equals the same thing as that. Any more questions, please ask Ms. Bonestell tomorrow in class.